No antibiotics. There is just nothing to treat patients with. And as shelling continues, there are more and more people getting injured on a daily basis. We are suspecting every every person who has come as being a, a terrorist or a LTT card. We have to be plain about this. People are in the camps because they are common. From every, from what we're seeing so far on the ground, uh, it does not look like Sri Lanka government is serious about that. Because probably before any uh, political process takes place, long term, it should first of all stop uh, dropping rockets and shells on the heads of the Tamils, the very Tamils that it is claiming to be liberating, and uh, allow them the freedom of movement and stop the humiliation that they're encountering after they cross uh, into the government-controlled areas. Lal Wickramatunga's brother, Lasantha, was one of the country's best-known journalists. Earlier this year, the Sinhalese editor was killed on his way to work in a well-planned attack. There's a school about 50 meters ahead of the left, and that's where he was assaulted. Your brother was killed just here? That's right. You can see a photograph of him on that tree. He was being followed uh, by eight people on four motorcycles and uh, they used whatever weapon they were using uh, from this side of the, 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 from the driving side against his temple and uh, he was fallen down across the other side. No other profession calls on its practitioners to lay down their lives for their art, save the armed forces and in Sri Lanka, journalism. Lasantha Wickramatunga was editor of the Sunday Leader newspaper. His brother is reading an editorial Lasantha wrote in which, eerily, he'd predicted his own death. Countless journalists have been harassed, threatened and killed. It has been my honour to belong to all these categories, and now especially the last. Wickramatunga's murder sent shockwaves through the country. So did the chilling editorial addressed to Sri Lanka's president in which he blames shadowy forces for his death. Who is Lasanta Wickramatunga? He is just another person. There are so many murders in, in everywhere, in, in the whole world there are murders. Why are you asking about Lasanta? Who is Lasanta? He is, a, he is somebody who was writing your tabloids. Yeah, but, you know, but you know what's been I'm said. I'm concerned by, about that. But you know the people are ranking. These are, these are, why, why are you people are so worried about one man? Tamil newspaper editor Vidyataran rides his motorbike to work because he thinks it's safer than a car. He says some Western diplomats, fearing he too might be attacked, have recently offered him asylum. But uh, my management and uh, we have decided to stay here to fight for the rights of the Tamils, the community, and this is the crucial time that uh, journalists have to act prudently on behalf of their people. I am doing that. Even, even though you know the risks that you are running and the it's consequences. It's true that uh, when, when you are leaving from your home, you are, uh, 100, you are not sure whether you will return back to your home alive. 
Sometimes we will come back. That is the position of the journalist. The day after I filmed him, Vidyataran was grabbed by police who arrived in a white van. Everyone aware when the white van comes, it's an abduction. As far as the journalists are concerned, nobody, whoever abducted in the white van, uh, never survived. What? Did they ever say why they were taking him or what they were going to Nothing. charge him? Nothing. They never produced any receipts, arrest warrant. Nothing, absolutely. It was, it was purely abduction. In the name of patriotism, you have trampled on human rights. For slain newspaper editor Lasantha Wikramatunga, media freedom was at the heart of democracy. And he made it clear in his final editorial, addressed to the president, that it's non-negotiable, even in death. As for me, it is with a clear conscience that I go to meet my maker. I wish, when your time finally comes, you could do the same. I wish. Thank you, sir. What, is, what do you consider the proper role for a journalist?